I was living my life as a dual life. I was on the weekends. I was Donna. Come Sunday evening, I had to go back to being Don again, and it just. By the end of the week, I was just in such a depressed state that it was just nothing mattered but that weekend. And I got to the point where it's just, I want to just be Donna all the time. So I took a chance and I sent an email. I sent it to the city officials. I made sure everybody knew about it. I didn't want just one person to know. I wanted everybody to know. I did it anonymously the first time just to see what would happen. Um, positive response. So after a couple of emails, made an appointment with HR, and at that time I had to give him my real name, and went in and spoke with the person in HR and explained who I was and where I wanted to go, how I wanted to transition. I went with a whole bunch of information and links because I knew it was going to be the first time that they dealt with somebody transitioning at work. And, of course, it was my first time, too, but I wanted to help them understand, too. I did the anonymous email at first because I was worried about losing my job. I had heard, well, I had heard of other people that, you know, had come out, and when they came out, for one reason or another, they were fired. I mean, I had a friend who came out and within two days they were fired. And I don't know the particulars, but, you know, it happens because people just don't want to accept it. People don't want to understand. And really, one of the biggest things is if you have an employee who's working for you, they're a good employee. They have all this heavy weight on them thinking about, you know, who they truly feel they are. Once they're allowed to transition... I feel you're going to have a better employee because they're not going to be thinking about that anymore. They can actually just be themselves. And so working with the city, we worked on a script of how to tell the general employees about my transition. That way, because if they saw me transitioning without anybody saying anything, there would be a lot of rumors flying around. And it's like, you know, let's, let's get ahead of this before things start being said and all that goes on. And the city backed me with support by telling the employees that this person is going to be transitioning and that they won't tolerate any discrimination. So I've, the city was definitely behind me on it. I've become more of an activist for the trans people because it's helped me speak out, not only for myself, but for others which has opened my world up to a whole lot of other things that I would have never even imagined I would have done, which could be this right now, actually. I mean, before, I, would, I was too shy. I'd be like just a stuttering idiot, really. But, you know, now it's like I want to be here. I want to want tell people, you know, who we are, what we're about, and acceptance. That's all we want is acceptance for who we are.